Hello, I'm Dr. Din. I'm here at Larkin Community Hospital. Um, we are going to trial some ozone auto chemotherapy on um, our patients, and we're gonna go through a demonstration um, uh, so we can train some of the nurses and the residents here on how to do it, okay? So before we start, I would like to introduce you to some of the equipment that's kind of required uh, for ozone auto chemotherapy. Here we have the ozone generator. It has a settings from zero to 10. Um, it, it changes the intensity of how quickly the ozone um, generates. Um, okay, this is our O2 tank. The O2 tank is hooked up through this plastic tubing to the ozone generator. And then this is where the O2 and O3 come out into this device called the um, O3 destructor, okay? So anything that comes out of this tube is is clean oxygen all right and so this is the pediatric uh, regulator that we use on this o2 tank uh, we don't want to use too large of a tank because it'll it'll break this uh, regulator okay um, so we're gonna set first we're gonna set the, the settings to one force per liter all right one force per liter we set and then to make sure that it's actually flowing the oxygen into the tank, we hook up the tube and we're gonna open the valve. And then we see that it is actually on, okay? Okay, so once we open up the regulator, we turn on the machine. Oxygen, turn on the oxygen and then turn on the generator. We give it about 20 seconds to generate the O3. And then we make sure the setting is up to five in this case. Here we have a schematic on how much O3 is generated at different flows and different intensity from the generator. So here we're going to have one-fourth the oxygen and we want close to 40 concentration with the power of five on the generator, okay? So now that we let it run a little bit, we can hook up our syringe to the ozone generator and then we're going to Turn the off button towards this tubing for the valve, okay? And it's going to fill up. And then when we're done, we turn it off and we're at 20 cc's. And so now we have our O3 in our 20 cc vial or 20 cc syringe. Okay, um, once we're done with it, there's a certain order that you need to shut um, the machine off. You wanna shut this off first, the generator. Okay, and then we're going to shut off the valve here, the pediatric valve to off. And that's how we fill in the O3 syringe. Okay, good. So this is Dr. Richter. He is leading. He's leading the ozone auto hemotherapy. We are testing it out on him. We have put a line into his vein here. Um, after flushing the entire catheter with heparin, and so now the blood is flowing down into this bag. Um, the higher, the better. Um, we are going to fill about to that um, two and a half mark. Um, and then we're going to infuse ozone in it afterwards, okay? This takes a little bit of time. And then we're gonna hang that bag up and inject ozone into it. So we are now infusing ozone, O3, into 
the bag after collecting 200 cc's of blood from Dr. Richter. Notice how the bubbles are being slowly infused and it needs to be very slow. So Make this syringe is still intact. Yeah. Yes. So we are done. So before we start, yes. we're, we're gonna, gonna rock it. we're gonna rock it. Yeah, rock Gently. it back and forth. Okay. So we don't want to break the red blood cells. So we just do. Yeah. It's so like ten seconds. That's just it. slowly mixing it. Yeah. That's medallis. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> that's good, like that, doc. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Okay. And then we're gonna hang it up. Just let it sit there for five more seconds, and that's it. And we just kind of. I'm gonna lower you. Yeah. We're gonna lower his table. So that's the rest of the blood with the ozone. It's slowly flowing down into the catheter. Down into his arm. Okay. Hi, Dr. Richter. And are you feeling okay, right? Yes. Perfect. Yes, doing great. <laughs> So we are finishing with the transfusion. We are flushing the rest of the blood. And then we are complete. And now he is fully oxygenated. <laughs>